Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the fan blade in a Samsung refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers, a pick hook, and a heat gun. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new fan blade. This fan blade is located inside the freezer compartment behind the rear panel. It circulates air through the evaporator coils and through both the freezer and the refrigerator compartments. The main reason for the fan blade to be replaced is if it breaks loose of the evaporator motor shaft, causing noise and weak air circulation. Let's open the freezer door. Slightly lift up on the ice bucket and pull it out. Now, using the Phillips screwdriver, we're going to take out two Phillips screws here on the top that hold the ice maker. So next, pull out the ice maker to free it from the rear clips. Drop it down slowly. And then we can uh, disconnect this plug by pressing the locking tab. And now we can remove the ice maker. Next, we need to remove the single Phillips screw here at the top of the divider. Now we can pull out the divider. We need to remove this shelf. Two screws, one on each side. We're going to use a Phillips screwdriver. Slide the shelf with the auger motor out. Disconnect the plug at the back, push the locking tab, and pull it out. And now we can remove the shelf out of the fridge. Next, we're going to remove all the shelves from the freezer. Pull and lift. Pull and lift. Next, we're going to use the flat blade screwdriver to pop open those two caps, which hides screws behind them. And now using the Phillips screwdriver, we're going to remove the two Phillips screws on the top of the lower panel. Please note that the steel screws that came out from the top holes are not painted white on the heads and it's that little longer than the rest of the screws. Now we can remove the rest of the screws that holds that the bottom cover panel. To remove the evaporator cover panel, we're going to grab it at the bottom here and just uh, pull it out to release the clips. And now we're going to take out those three Phillips screws that hold the top cover panel. Pay attention to these tiny arrows around the perimeter of the cover. They indicate where the locking clips are located behind the panel. So we are going to use a hook to undo the clips behind the panel. You don't have to get exactly the same tool as long as you will have something that is bent 90 degrees and won't break the plastic. Preferably it would be a little bit uh, flatter than the hook, but I couldn't find anything in my uh, toolbox. If you do, good luck. Now let's insert the hook underneath uh, the panel, right against the arrow, then press 
the panel about two inches away from the edge, press in and pull the hook. And then we're gonna continue on to the second arrow and do the same thing. Pull out. Press and pull. And the panel comes out. Here's the fan blade that we need to replace. Before pulling it off the motor shaft, we need to hit it with the heat gun right in the center to break loose the glue. It will take probably about a minute, no more than that. Grab the fan and pull it straight out. Now we need to remove that uh, holding spring from the old fan blade. I'm using uh, my little hook. Pull it up. All right, and we're going to put it on down to the new one. This is the old fan blade next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, now we're going to put the spring, that retainer spring, on the new fan blade. Push it on. Now we're going to install it. Slide the new fan blade on the motor shaft with this flat side out. Turn the new fan blade to make sure it rotates freely. Now we can install the top cover. Uh, those upper hooks goes in first and then we're gonna just press around the perimeter on the cover. And push in so the clips will lock. Beautiful. Secure the panel with the three Phillips screws. Now we're going to install the bottom evaporator cover panel. Slide it in. And push it in to lock the tabs on the side. And now using the Phillips screwdriver, now we can secure it with the screws. Do not over tighten them. They're going to the plastic tubing, so be careful. And now we can install the top screws. If you remember, they are a little longer and they're not painted white. Now we can install the caps back in. And I can install all the shells back in. And the last one. All right, bring in the shelf. Plug it in at the back. And then install the shelf on the rail. And now we can secure the shelf with the two Phillips screws, one on each side. 
We can put the divider back in now. Slide it on the rails on the bottom. So it will lock in. And then we can uh, install the Phillips screw at the top. Bring the ice maker in. And let's plug the plug the wire wire plug in on the top. Make sure it locks. Make sure that the wire harness is under the retainer. And next, the two brackets over there, one on each side, has to lock over those two pins. Uh, push it in to slide over. Now we need to secure the ice maker to the ceiling with the two Phillips screws. All right, sliding in the ice beam and over assembly and close the door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.